ukiza neno na ukibarikiwa haleluya and become your brother or sister keeper amen haleluya ukiona analala na Chache ndiyo mahali ya kunanga oda sana ya kusema amen. Unaweza sema amen mhubiri ya kianza. Pasipo mpangilio bora ni amen. Haleluya. So unamuguza unasema haleluya. Hata kama haina mpangilio ni unasaidia dada ama ndugu. Amen. Na hiyo itakuwa vizuri. Glory to God. Tumekuwa hapa. Hii ni siku ya kipeke. Maana leo niko na uhuru ndio maana nimepata nafasi ya kuimba kidogo sasa leo tutaenda kile ambacho hatujapokea tutakipokea amen uh, leo we, we want to empty empty everything in god's mind and heart so that our lives may be changed once and forever those people who have had an encounter with god their lives take a different turn the reason why people sometimes hawachukuli mungu vile anavyofaa kwa sababu hawajai kutana na mungu wa kweli ama hawajai ona mungu wa kweli akitekeleza mambo hallelujah na ninaomba mungu afanye kitu hapa leo yenye hautawahi sahau in a certain meeting mtumishi lai na mtumishi teresia wakaletewa mtoto mwenye hakui aiga no takaligo kanini paka wakamweka kwa basin so hang one anaweza kushikika hakui mwana wa miaka iga noona na hakui yani anatoshea basin ile atoiga giragima and the two men of god began to go around teresia na lai wakaanza kusunguka hiyo hiyo kitu inakaa kama mtoto literally physically mchana mtoto akaanza kukua unajua sometimes we don't believe god kwa sababu uh, dini na mambo ya dini kuna venye huwa inazuia kuona Mungu wa kweli na kuna kitu Mungu anaweza kukufanyia useme hastu, ani, sitaki kujua venye nyinyi mnasema one thing i know mimi sikuwa ninaona nilipoenda hiyo mkutano lakini sasa aidha mumuite yeye ni mwenye dhambi ama yeye si nini ama hiyo kanisa iko aje there are certain evidence and results of god that are undeniable and that is what i'm talking about Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Saturday tulikuwa na wanaume pia na kuru. So wakati nimeelekea tulikuwa tumeenda conference, wakati nimetoka nje break time. Mzee akakuja akasema, "Leo nilikuwa nimesema kama haukuji hii mkutano, nitatafuta namba yako kwa nitatafuta namba yako kwa pasta nijue nikuambie kwa sababu wakati ulikuja kuhubiri conference kwetu umulinipea mahali tulikupea mahali pa kulala na siku ya mwisho kuna maombi uliomba na exactly chenye uliomba kimetimia nimejenga nyumba ya milioni tatu 3.8 na ndio hii na nilikuwa nakutafuta kwa sababu ulilala kwetu siku ile lakini siku ya mwisho ukaomba na hii ndiyo matokeo wakiwa na mke wake the undeniable evidence Hallelujah Amen Na wakati nilikuwa nahubiri hapa hapa Monyo primary na unajua ukihubiria watoto unasema hivi ndivyo Mungu alivyo anaweza fufua na anaweza fungua masikio na anaweza fungua macho wakaniletea msichana ambaye hasikii sikio waligojea nimalize kusema chenye ninasema na hata wewe ngojea ni mseme chenye ninasema halafu ulete maana huyo Mungu hajabadilika yeye ako hapa kufanya mambo yasiyo ya kawaida 
So nikawekerea msichana masikio lakini moyoni dauga wega inewe wewe wewe uvite oh na unajua mimi nilisema venye umesema <laughs> Hallelujah Masikio ikafunguka pa Sasa ah. niambie Hallelujah Hallelujah Hakuna kitu kikubwa kama kuelewa Mungu hajabadilika. Na isitoshe hatujakuja kwetu tumekuja kwake. <laughs> Nao mambo mengine yanaweza kwama tukiwa kwetu. Lakini kama ni kwake tumekuja. <laughs> For with God nothing is impossible. With aliyefikia Elia kwa kunguru yuko hapa aliyebadilisha system ili utwalizi uonekane yuko hapa na leo hii nataka umuamini kwa chochote anything that you have never believed god for i want you to believe it tonight hatubahatishi tuna uhakika We are not guessing about God. We have true evidence that he is God. Hawezi anda, hawezi kusanya hawa watu wote iwe ni bure. Mungu hajaifanya mahesabu kama hiyo. Sababu nimeanzia hapo ni ili sisi yote twende kwa chenye kinafurahisha Mungu. Waibrania moja sita inasema Ni vigumu kufurahisha Mungu pasipo imani. Lakini wanao mtafuta na sio tu kumtafuta. <laughs> Nilikuja kupata a powerful revelation, Reverend. If I seek God I am given but if I seek diligently I'm rewarded now those are two levels of response Acha nirudie tena Ukimtafuta Mungu atakupea ask seek knock itafanyika kulingana na chenye ulikuwa unataka lakini ukimtafuta kwa bidii zaidi ya kukutwalia <laughs> anakulipa kwa bidii uliyoifanyia na leo hii hatuko hapa tu kumtafuta tuko hapa kumtafuta kwa bidii haleluya so wanao kuja kwake haijalishi ni wangapi let them that come to him number one, believe he is that's why i was saying so kwanza waamini yeye ako alafu he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him say amen now hebrews 11:13 has been our text from wednesday i want to recap in this is sorted to flow sema amen sema nita flow Haleluya. Unajua uzuri wa mambo ya Mungu kuna wenye walikuja the 60 hour. <laughs> Na walipewa mshahara ile ile. Sasa hapo ndio Mungu analetanga shida. Haleluya. Akasema wewe unajua mimi nilikuja asubuhi. Mungu akamwambia wewe tuliweka maagano. Wacha nikupea ufunuo leo. <laughs> Haleluya. Unajua mwenye alikuja mapema aliweka mkataba. Mwenye alikuja the fifth hour, the eleventh hour, hakuweka mkataba, aliamini at the benevolence katika utwalizi na upendo wa Mungu. We chenye utalipa nitaridhika. <laughs> Siji kama unaelewa, so Yesu akamuuliza si wewe tuliweka mkataba. Huyu aliamini kuwa mimi siwezi muhada mshahara nitampea. Na katika utwalizi wangu 
nimeona nimempea kishiringi kama wewe uliyekubaliana na mimi so i chose this way mahali nitakutania na Mungu nitaondoa mambo ya mushahara nitaweka mambo ya kuamini alivyo na alicho nacho anitwalie pasipo kumwekea kiwango maana naweza jipunguzia katika kuweka niye mwadhani waona wada adhima o oh. wahe speake mwe haleluya na gayareda akohe container wona wete kila tu kuhe breakfast hapana mimi nilikata hiyo nili baada ya kuelewa mwenye alikuja dakika ya kumi na moja hakukuja na mkataba sasa wewe unaweza kuwa ulikuja siku ile ondoa mkataba unaweza kuja leo ondoa mkataba amini katika the benevolence utualizi usio the lavishness of god mungu venye anapenda kutualia nataka nikuambie hivi mungu alipoumba adam alimtengeneza adam akiwa mtu mmoja na oxygen yote yenye tunapumua watu bilioni nane leo dari ashoka factory kana lab waimeni taja mifano ya ndege uishi kana mifano ya ndege wanaopuruka taja sigwe tena gikoyo kwanza da kwela weto ne e nyoni nyoni goko bata igogo bitura ate karogi guno hizo zote hata zingine unajiuliza shiane shiake karogi guno yale yake hizo zote zilikuwa za nini kwa sababu Mungu Mungu he is not limited na nataka tutoke kiwango cha Mungu mwenye tunamutoshea experience yenye tumepitia maana sometimes unaweza pitia kanjia fulani na hata watu wakuite kanjia hako eh yeah? tunakumbuka Gabriel akiambia in Luke 126 Gabriel anaambia Mary yule Elizabeth mwenye aliitwa tasa si alikuwa tasa aliitwa ali itwa yeye hakuwa tasa aliitwa kwa sababu ni watu waliona condition yake wakampea jina yule mwenye hana mtoto na hali yako inaweza kuwa hivyo lakini Mungu wetu anaweza badilisha so akamwambia sikiliza sasa hivi ni mjamzito wa miezi sita kwa sababu kwa Mungu yote yawezekana glory to god utukufu kwa bwana so waibrania 11:13 maandiko yanasema hivi nataka tuende part B part B inasema hivi wote hawa waliona kama unataka chochote kutoka kwa Mungu lazima uambie Mungu nifunue macho nione sema nione so maandiko yanasema hawa wote waliona kutoka mbali haikuwa karibu sasa iko karibu Yesu amefanya iwe karibu na nitakuja hapo yote yote haya ahadi hizi zote zilikuwako lakini zilikuwa mbali Abraham anasema naona mji ambao mjenzi ni Mungu kwa hivyo anaamua mimi nitakaa katika hema maana ninataka kukaa katika mjengo huo ulikuwa mbali lakini aliona Hawa wote waliona tukasema ikiwa Mungu wakati huu na kipindi hiki we are in transition na transition ama migration yenye Mungu anaingiza watu wake ni wale wataona chenye anafanya wataona muondoko wake wataona ahadi yake wataona chenye amekusudia kufanya kama hauweziona basi itakuwa vigumu kupokea ndio maana Paul anasema in Ephesians 1:16 anasema niliposikia kwa uso sijaacha kuwaombea mjazwe na roho wa hekima na maarifa macho yenu yafunguke muone mwito wenu the hope of your calling na pia muone nguvu za Bwana ambazo zimeelekezwa kwenu 
kama hauwezi ona hauwezi pokea amen tu walipoona wakashawishika chenye wameona ni chao they were convinced that that which they were persuaded that that which they have seen belongs to them now unaweza ona baraka mnaona squeeze kizazi ambacho kiko they are seeking relevance na maselvi kasa utampata pale nje amejipiga na CZ ameenda kwa BS amejichapa naye wacha hiyo maneno ameenda pale hivi amejipiga selfie sasa atagojea tumalize ibada wacha maneno they, they are seeking relevance through association in what they have not touched you can change your story my friend mimi nimekataa kupigwa picha na vitu ambavyo sio vyangu Ah Kama ni jet wacha iwe yangu. Hii maneno ya kutavuta jet yenye haiendi. Na unashinda hata hatuwezi kukuongelesha. Badilisha hiyo mambo aje ona kumbatia kwa kuamini. Shawishika hii ni yangu. Manika nasema that they were persuaded it belongs to them then they embrace embrace means that one ondoka one achana bible inasema they considered where they were it's not accurate so they became strangers or pilgrims wakawa wasafiri na leo hii niko hapa kukuambia kama utaona Mungu lazima uhame Lazima uhame mahali ulipo na utaanza na kuhama kimaombi utaanza na kuhama kia hali utaanza na kuhama kia utendaji Faith without works is dead John saw it accurately Na anasema anaambia Yesu you wewe Yesu you will kwanza anaambia watu hata asiyo Yesu anaambia Behold the lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world anaona accurately it's not enough to see accurate. kuna watu ushuhuda wao uko accurate but the evidence in their testimony is different have come to tell you my brother my sister there has to be a way that you are testimony aligns with the evidence of your life when you look at jerusalem the bible says it has equal dimensions length height and width what that means is what i say it is what i believe and it is what i am Amen. the testimony that's what the bible says this jesus who began to do and to preach he began by becoming kabla anze kufunza alifanyika haleluya sasa sisi tuna mahubiri mengi na ushuhuda mrefu lakini upande huu mwingine john so accurately the bible says baada ya kuona accurately then aka dina akasema I must decrease. Mtu mwenye anasema hivyo na tumeimba, mtu mwenye sio wimbo tu tumeimba. By the way, ikiwa tu ni wimbo unaimba, basi wewe ni makelele umepiga. Lakini kama umemaanisha kushuka ni kushuka na kunatokana na moyo. Amen. Hiyo dini ilituonyesha ni ubaga inegoshema. Lakini moyo umesimama. na tumenyaga wahutio nenie gwero ogu jesus you have to see you have to be convinced wacha kuwa convinced na mambo ya wenyewe kuwa convinced na ahadi zako 
zenye Mungu amekupea wewe. So Biblia inasema John aliamini na akawa convinced. Ndio maana anasema lazima ufungue. Lakini kuna kitu hakufanya. Ingawa alisema na akawa convinced, haku embrace maana angefunga hiyo ministry yake papo hapo. Hange rudi nyikani kwenda kusumbuana na polisi maana polisi lazima wangemshika hakuna mahali mwito wa Yohana ukiusoma kulingana na Malakai ine alikuwa ameambiwa atakuwa akinenea polisi ama sasa umenikashirikia wacha 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 twende pole pole hakuna mwito wa John the Baptist alikuwa ameambiwa wewe kazi yako ni kunenea polisi na huyu mwenye alikuwa amechukua mke wa ndugu yake anaitwa nani bas hakuna mahali hiyo haikuwa kazi yake alitan political akatan sasa yeye ndiye anakuwa relevant na polisi watu wamekuja kutubu unawauliza ni nani kwanza anawaita brood of vipers na ukitaka kujua Yesu hakukubaliana na yeye ni wakati Yesu alisikia ameshikwa maandiko yanasema akaenda galiri akaenda a... yani wewe umeshikiwa hapa Muguga na wega sero kauka wao lila pasta dimo de kugwa danyite ha ha muguga kaigua kenya be ginye golifa yesu akaenda to the wrong even the opposite direction akiwa huko nataka uone huyu mtu mwenye alikuwa ameshawishika maandiko yanasema akatumana enda muulize kama ni yeye unajua alikuwa anataka kusema si unakumbuka ni mimi nilie kuintroduce kwa hawa watu lakini hange muambie hivyo so anaenda ku and then mumuulize kama ni yeye ama ni introduce mwingine <laughs> maandiko yanasema Yesu aliponya watu kadhaa na akaenda to the next akaenda mumwambie chenye mumeona viwete wanaona viziwa nasikia alafu akamwambia and kubarikiwa ni yule hata kuazika ndani yangu nataka unisikilize na unifuate unaweza ona ipasavi unaweza shawishika lakini kama hautakumbatia kwa matendo hiyo yenye umeona itakuwa bure hautaweza kufikia kile Mungu anataka orpa na ruth had same opportunity Waliona venye hawa wa ndugu Elimelek na vijana wake wawili walikufa Moab. Now, acha nirudi nyuma kidogo. Elimelek anatoa jamii yake Bethlehem nyumba ya mkate. Anapeleka Moab. Moab means water father. Kumbuka Moab ni kizazi ambacho kilitokana ni binti wa Lot ambao wali rep baba yao ili wapate Amon na, na Moab. Moab means water father, ni roho inayokejeli baba. So kwenda to the wrong location lazima vijana wangekufa. Maana msingi wa muji huo na jamii hiyo haiheshimu baba. So katika msingi huo lazima baba na vijana wangeisha so Ruth alikuwa na nafasi ya kurejea kutafuta muzee mwingine huko huko kwao lakini kuna kitu alielewa kuna kitu kilicho na Naomi sasa sikia wakati anamwambia usinifuate sikia mtu mwenye ameona ameshawishika na amekumbatia na anahama anasema where you go i will go where you die kwani unaolewa na, na Naomi ah ah ni kuona alikuwa ameona ni kushawishika alikuwa ameshawishika orpa alikuwa na the same opportunity lakini kwa sababu hakujituma yeye aliishwa baadaye tunapata Ruth akiwa great grandmother wa Jesus kwa sababu aliona baada ya kuona akashawishika baada ya kushawishika akakumbatia 
na sasa akaandamana na ahadi hivyo ndivyo Biblia inatuambia Warumi 15:4 yote yaliyoandikwa yaliandikwa kwa sababu yetu Si upewe Mike nataka tukimbie sasa Mpatie huyu ndugu Mike ili ananisomea kwa Kiswahili haleluya that all that was written was written for our learning yali andikwa kwa sababu yetu ili nini tujue kama ilivyo wafanyikia hata sisi inaweza tufanyikia ili tuwe na subira na ili tuwe na uvumilivu kujua inawezekana mtu aseme amen amen leo hii nimekuja kukuhamisha ambia mwenzako utahama utahama haleluya amen umekaa hiyo plot sana ambia mwenzako utahama Tama. Hallelujah. Amen. Mwambie utahama. Utahama. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, I have come with an anointing to shift and to put you where God wants. Yes. By force by fire. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Umekwama na hiyo testimony sana. Yes. Maandiko yanasema akaambia wana wa Israeli, "Mmezunguka hiyo kambi sana." Yes. Kuna shida unafaa uchoke naye. Na watu nauliza unataka kuhama. Nasema sina mtu. Hiyo sio swali yenye nimekuuliza. Nimekuuliza unataka kuhama. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hati sina mtu. Hapana. Mtu wako na jana hiyo ilikuwa ya the first day. Jana tukasema the breaker has gone ahead. The breaker has gone ahead. Na huyu breaker ni Yesu. Mika 2:13 Siguze mwenzako muambie sasa ndiyo tunaanza. Sasa ndiyo tunaanza. Hallelujah. Mkesha umeanza sasa. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Sisi ni wale watu tunahubiri, unaanguka, unakufa, tunakufufua, tunaendelea kuhubiri. Yes. Kama Paul. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Sema ndiyo. Ndiyo. Hallelujah. Amen. Ndio hmm. nilikuwa kwa mkesha kuna ndugu alikuwa tu amekiti hapa kitambo tu adhire agodhirethe na mtu hata kanisa ikanyamaza ndugu agari huyo adhire ndugu abia haleluya lakini kwa neema ya Mungu hakuenda haleluya so na kuhatarisha usiende lakini sasa neema iko ya kufanya nini haleluya amen glory to god Ambia mwenzako lazima uhame. Mwambie kama muambie kama mhudhukile ta muhubiri. Wacha kumunenea kama haleluya. Yeah. Haleluya. Yeah. Glory to God. Now there are various things that I want us according to the scripture that we have to move from. Say amen. Amen. Part of our breakthrough is moving from isolation to relationships. Hizo ndio vitu zenye Mungu anataka tuhame. And I will list kuhama kutoka wapi? Watu wengine hawasaidiki maana amejiweka kakona yake. Na hata kama Mungu angetamani kumsaidia hawezi saidika maana amejiweka kona yake na ukisoma maandiko katika waibrania 10:25 somee kwa haraka 10:25 yeah uh, wala tusiache kukusanyika pamoja mm-hmm. kama ilivyo desturi ya wengine mm-hmm. bali tuonyane mm-hmm. na kuzidi kufanya hivyo yes kwa kadri mwanavyo siku ile kuwa inakaribia amen amen hii maneno ya kusema mimi naweza peke yangu mm. kama utasaidika mm. kama utaingia msimu huu wa kuhama Yo. lazima uhame upeke uingie wapi mm. in relationship yes lazima uwe na kanisa mm. lazima uwe na pasta na nitakwambia sababu ya hivi vitu yote maandiko yanasema hivi na nataka unisikilize vizuri sisi yote kama mwili tunaunganishwa we supply the reason the reason we are coming together even with the man of god 
Not that I don't preach. No. The reason siya kwa sababu hawezi ubiri. No. But because when we come together, two are better than one. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Now, our breakthrough, na ndiyo maana mungu ametumeta. Wewe siju umetoka wapi. Lakini mungu ametumeta katika muavuli huu. Katika mausiano kuna upenyo. Amen. Amen. Ambia mwenzako hama. Hama. Maombi sio lazima unangane peke yako. Mambo yako sio lazima unangane peke yako. Now itachukua anayeona akuone na wewe unayeweza kuchukua uchukue ili muende hii safari. Paul anasema wa Ibrania 10:25 na musipuze. Hii maneno ya kuja washirika watu watatu katikati ya wiki ya Tetodoti Sande. Itakoma leo. Mimi niakwambia ukweli. That if kama utapenya msimu huu lazima ujue mnatembea na nani. Lazima uwe na mahusiano ya kweli. Now the word relationship comes from two words. Relate and ship. Ship is a cargo carrier. The way you relate to me I download to you. Uka amen ni. Amen. Mama aliyekuwa mshunami alielewa huyu ni mtumishi. Njia ni rahisi, ni mjengee mahali na pa juu. Maana hata mvua huwa inatoka juu inakuja chini. Na jua kitu inaitwa gravity. Ama unafikiria kwa yake hakukuwa hado na haukiada na haukware, hauhena marima. Ni hoge yake irwa hau heje to marima hagati huo mkuru. Koni hado wa komo ndio wangefanya. <laughs> Lakini mama alielewa neema kama hii nafaa nitengenezee nafasi venye itatiririka na imwage neema katika maisha yangu Wakati Zakaria ananenewa na Mungu baada ya kukwama miaka tano hekalu imekwama wako na simiti wafanyakazi na kila kitu Mungu alimuonyesha picha yenye ilikuwa ni picha yenye ilikuwa na the olive ilikuwa na bakuli mifereji miwili alafu imepeleka mwanga Mungu akamwambia it's not by might neither by power what was God saying if only you could have connected with Zachariah and the prophet Haggai then the building of the temple could not have stopped tunakuwa lakini we do not know the foundation hawa watu walikuwa na kila kitu lakini mjengo ukakwama Unasema biashara imekuwa mawapi connection. <laughs> Unasema oh watoto wa perform connection. Nilikwambia jana kuna maagano mengi yametuzingira ya uovu lakini Mungu anasema kweni have respect with the covenants. And there are men who have laid covenants with God. And those men they are not just men, they carry promises and graces. Not all people are the same. Usidanganyike kila mtu sio sawa. Yes. Oh yes. Mm. Kila len, watu wanasema ah gogo toto arako. Eh wacha nikwambie. Not all people are the same. Maandiko yanasema Ezekiel 14:14. 14. Mungu anasema yeye mwenyewe kuwa hata huyu na huyu wakiniomba meaning even in the ranking of prayer there are people who have status. Yes. Hebu soma. Uh, wajapokuwa watu hawa watatu, yeah. Nuhu uh-huh. na Danieli uh-huh. na Hayobu yeah. kuwamo ndani yake, uh-huh. wangejiokoa na fusa wenyewe tu. Sikiliza, hao watu wako na uwezo wa kujiokoa kwa sababu ndani yangu wako na status. Oh yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Hey. Hii maneno ya kuishia ukiwa peke yako hapo. Sini yule angalia naman angekufa kwake lakini mtakazi alikuwa na solution There is no single place naman alikutana na mtu mkubwa All were servants kukuambia hivi Grace is not found not only in the external Ah uh, naman alinenewa na nani mfanyakazi akaenda akafikiria Elisha atatoka alituma Gehazi wakiwa eda mutoni wakapata nena kana kada kada rugo kaho <laughs> nesiwe jiana ha kaka kadige tonya nani alimnenea tena 
Mtumishi wake. All those people carried grace in their word yet it was not external. But it carried the healing of Naaman. Ah. Kuna mtu hapa unanisikia mwenye nasema amebeba suluhu yako. Usiwahi dharau ama kudunisha mtu kwa sababu ya hali yake. Sababu Mungu wetu haoni kama mwanadamu. Maandiko yanasema I'm not a respecter of persons. Si heshimu watu. Hallelujah. The credentials that God honor is grace and offices that he has established. Say amen. Ambia mwenzako tunahama from gifts to giver. For some time the church has missed kwa sababu tunainua vipawa kuliko mwenye kuliko mwenye vipawa. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You told on your re giririe hiarani shiraraihire. Uko na mio ere amu. Ni uduro ya tena ni kuzadaiya. Mike Kenya itagogo ni mwana. Sasa hii ni uni direction. Nashoke we wa mio yo guo. Tene kogo shiri ya kulia kwa we wa tulia. Tulia, tulia. Ili uwe na huo mkono kuna mwenye amekupa ili uweze kuimba kuna mwenye amekupatia ili uweze kusimama kuna mwenye amekupatia kabla ya kuona chenye uko nacho angalia ni nani amekutwalia the way to break through that's why i'm talking of we have to shift from gift to giver and this is the validation of gifts if your gift is not impacting i was talking to him the stage of our church kwa naambia huyu elder namwambia hivi this is where we are and this is how ministry should be done nikamwambia hey, huduma inafaa kuwa hivi number one, huduma inafaa ilete ilete uguzo ilete mabadiliko umekuja hapa wewe hauna chochote hii neema inayofanya kazi hapa ikubadilishe kesho uende upate kazi I'm, i'm not guessing i'm talking what is possible Are you hearing what I'm saying? That grace that is in the church ought to intervene in your status. That is the first level. Yeyote aliyekuja angalia Hebrews 11. Hao watu wote yote ilikuwa kwa imani lakini walifanywa mambo tofauti. Church ya kweli huleta interventions in the lives of people. But that is not the end. Hallelujah kuona umefufuliwa ama umepona ama umeona it's not the end it's the beginning then from the receiving of those interventions of god the next thing that god will do into the life and into that ministry it is to empower now you shift from now me into what i have received i have to be a witness and reproduce the same then to sustain that the church now brings structures so nilikuwa nawaambia kanisa inafaa iwe na structures zenye hata kama mimi siko structures zenye nimetengeneza huduma itaendelea maana mwenye huduma ndio anaisu And I was so blessed my sister and may God bless you. Nikasema, can you listen to that lady? Anakumbuka everything I have taught. I told him that should be the case. That sio maneno imeanguka tu. Hapana. Sio news paper tumekuja kusoma. Hapana. Hii sio news to go jea kesho citizen ni nipashe kesho hapana. Hapana. Whatever God builds must have a system that carries forward. Hallelujah. Amen. Say my amen. 
Amen. Lakini sababu ya yenye tunakuwa hivyo ni kwa sababu watu wamedeal kwa gift. Na gift haukufanyia kazi. Gift ni kutwaliwa na yote anaweza pewa. I want to shift your mind. Ikiwa alinipea bure kilicho cha maana ni kumridhi yeye ili nipokee kila kitu kuliko kitu moja ama mbili yenye amenipea. So, kuliko kukwama kwa kipawa tuna shift leo sema tuna shift. Tuna shift from number three, wandering into stability. Moja wapo ya shida kubwa ndio maana revival lazima itengenezwe baada ya miezi mbili. Ni todu hali ya watu geiro. No hosade tukagokora. Bible weza naga na yosande. Hallelujah. We have to shift. Ukiangalia there are four stabilities. Zenye nataka Mungu anataka tuwe nazo ili afanye mambo makubwa. Niliwaambia this following Jesus anataka tufanyike mambo kadhaa. Na quickly maandiko yanasema hivi katika Colossians 2:7 to rooted and built in him established in faith. You have to have proper stability in faith. Number two, you have sta- you need to have stability in doctrine. Sema mafundisho. Hebrews 13:9 Be not carried away. Saizi kuko na mafundisho mengi. Ha? Kifungulia tu hivi runinga. Ukerua okay, sasa tuma. Niliona sasa mwingine ameenda tuma tuma dhate. Nimekupea dakika mbili ili utume dhate ili miujiza ipitiane hivi. Yaani mimi nikashindwa Mungu siku hizi anafanya kazi na Safaricom. Na na ni vizuri, na ni vizuri. Wacha nikwambie kutoa sio mbaya. Mimi ni mnatoa kabisa. Lakini kuna mafundisho mengi yenye hailingani na chenye Mungu anataka. Guza mwenzako muambie be rooted in doctrine. Unaweza toleaje mtu tithe mwenye hakulishi? Yes. We were in a very serious meeting in Nakuru mm. and the apostle anaitwa Sam Tukura. This is what he said. Yes. If I cannot solve you as a minister, alikuwa anahubiria wahubiri. Anasema if as a minister I cannot Handle 10% of your problem. I yes. don't qualify for your tithe. Yes. Sijui kama umenipata venye nasema. Mm. I said oh my god. Mm. Eh. Na huku na huku fungulia runinga. <laughs> Ni kama Mungu anafanyanga kazi na Safaricom. Eh? Anaangalia imeanguka ngapi Kutoa sio mbaya na nitakuonyesha sehemu ya kutoa. Lakini toa mahali unahudumiwa Abraham hakutolea kila mtu baada ya kukutana na Melkishedek na baada ya kupewa kikombe na akahuishwa ndio alimpatia 10% Ngoe mani wewe naye hata ujui inaenda wapi ana umefungulia kama hatutakuwa stable takuwa tukiyumba yumba we have to be stable in doctrine sema amen amen sema amen amen kama unakuja huku mm. huku ndipo mahali unafaa kutoa kila kitu yes niliwaambia juzi i no longer and they are they are here they can tell you we don't keep records because we teach so that they may obey Christ without kusimamisha Hayo mambo ili wewe kama hauti na naweza kukuambia hao wazee unaona hapo yale Mungu amewafanyia sio kwa sababu sio kwa sababu tunaweka na tuweke sheria lakini kwa sababu ya kufunza by the way church kwetu tuko na wazee wengi ukweli tuko na hiyo neema ya wazee hata ukikuja utaona wazee ni wengi wako half half 50 50 kanisa ya watumia ni wazee 50 na nini 50 Ukweli, ukweli, niko na wazee wako na miaka 8. Touch. Mm. Sinasema. Yes, ni kweli. Yes. Mm. But listen. What we labor in is in doctrine. Sema doctrine. Doctrine. Hmm? Wewe. <laughs> Haleluya. Amen. Mwanza nikuambie kitu moja. Neema Unaona unaona by the way ukiangalia katika bible ukiangalia katika bible utarealize hivi 
Peter Peter alikuwa mzee lakini Yesu angemuita my little children Kwa nini it's grace Watu wakifunguka macho waone neema wataweza kufanya chile kinahitajika Niko hapa kukufunza hivi mimi nimejifunza na nimeamua kuwa sitahubiri chenye sijafanya Haleluya. Najua kabla nianze kuhubiri Reverend nilikuwa nahubiri ni, mimi hapa by the way by the grace of God hakuna kanisa kuna kadho lakini daho etega huji munyo hakuna kanisa ukweli nilikuwa nimesema sasa sikuwa naenda sasa ni ubiri kadho le kichachi yenyewe nilikuwa nimesema ni hey opportunity hiyo wanaitanga aje hiyo shule yenye iko na wale watu wako na issues special school nilikuwa nimeomba na nimetumana eh, nimetumana enda muambie father aniruhusu niingie huko niombe hao watoto that is the kind of faith i am talking about so hizi hizi church zote mimi nikiwa kijana si nikiwa mzee tikaremu nikiwa kijana na niko na miaka 17 katika ndoa na mtumia dale inuka ni vizuri kuweka statement kama hiyo haleluya wewe wewe tunakushikanisha leo kwa sababu hauna misingi ya nini atitodo dawa ne ahihinyu wewe ya magego ngoja kidogo nataka unisikilize vizuri when you teach doctrine there is grace for doctrine usione kama i can excite you paka usimamie kiti wacha kusimamia miguu ha ha but then utoke bila chochote uragi aku kakate lakini ulikuwa kwa kiti juu that is possible but kabla usimamie kiti kwanza elewa haya maneno you have to be stable in doctrine lazima ukubali kufunzwa sio kushika microphone siku mbili sasa unataka uitwe mtume ureherwe watu mai ha tetone wini dhiriye wega kuja utuulize tumetoka wapi Hallelujah. So wakati nilizunguka hii makanisa yote, Mungu akasema, kwa sababu umehubiri ya wenyewe na ni radhi ya rahado kagudhuka. Naenda waambie gaako. Nigeza, nigeza wadhi kuuga uguo rauga ri. That that that's how God send me to. Na gogotwara kuri otoi kaini. Munyu, munyu ningefungua church ningepasua makanisa ukweli. Na tuonyaga hii ningefungua church ningepasua sababu nilikuwa nimehubiri makanisa yote na muondoko mkubwa wa Mungu. Lakini sikiliza, Mungu alisema ninakutuma kilema bogo mahali hakuna mtu anakujua. Na huko ndio penye nilienda. Crusade ya kwanza. Apostle Juma akahubiri na kanisa ikajaa. Wiki ya tatu kutia ile ndo. Nilikuwa nimeanza na kupewa hall Dago Samuel Gerona ni okoreha. Besa siga na Girinya. We are talking of 06. Sio jana 06. Kini ndio sisi hapa hapa. Tunakuambia kitakacho kupea upenyo. So ukikuja church kwetu ni guhu guhu jia meli uguo matatu najua mimi ningehubiri mara mbili tatu hivi kwa ukweli na hiyo neema iko last week nimehubiria vijana hapa telephone wameokoka mia hii thursday nikawahubiria wengine mia sasa nimefanya nikifanya tatu shukuru ngima ya honoka ya tatu shukuru ngima na kwambia ukweli hiyo neema iko hii thursday wakati nilikuwa nakuja hapa jana jana na nilikuwa nimetoka kuhubiri by the way na vijana mia na kuambia watu wenye wamejisajili majina yao so the grace is there hivyo ndio venye nilikuwa nafikiria nitahubiri kanisa mere matatu dali gago ado maranga ngana na ado 50 ado 50 50 how 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 at at, at the fellowship watu wa we Hey. Yes. Nikapelekwa shule. 
Sasa ukiniona hapa sometimes nitaliria nikikuona kwanza umekiti hivi ona ugekomaga mukirie tu guy method number 1 ni etekirire guka na now i know i know chenye inagarimu mungu mtu wa mungu kutoka maakati ya bereni ni we <laughs> stability in doctrine stability in faith stability in love The reasons why sometimes we cannot be entrusted. Told we know we did, eh? But love goes beyond that. The true love of God goes beyond those measures. Amen. Love does not keep anything. Mm. Are you hearing? Yes. Le we na no menye ni nyoba. No menye go kututi le trage koroba. Modo wa hegesho ogwa go kinya kiara. Na dauma na o niro ebo niro ho. Lastly, we have to be stable in truth. Present truth. Whatever I'm preaching is what I have so many things I can say but it is what God is saying now. We must be stable in present truth. We have to move from manifestation to the voice of God. Say Mahama. Unajua hii vitu yenye unaonanga kwa runinga tulifanya Nidirikanaga pasta le moyo. Nideta gia mai ka hoteli kale age hakwe. Mai tamaya. Kamija ogwo we ndonge koroto. Gamija ogwo. Dake na gio dona adume flati mevi. Nigo daigwa gari ugai nioka. I tell you, mi, mi, na kwambia ukweli. But God told me that is not the end. I told Joshua kama amelala inuka. There is more beyond manifestation. Unajua kuna watu ambao wanasukumwa na utendaji. Na hiyo huwa tunafanya. Hallelujah. Jina la Bwana lipesifa. Amen. But that is not the end. Every manifestation of God ended up with a voice. Allow me to take you through several manifestation. Maandiko yanaongea kuhusu in Genesis 1. The earth was without form and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit moved. So there was the movement of the spirit. But everything was still. Bakini mungu wakasema. And God said. Every manifestation resulted into the voice. Ikiwa muondokoa. Nandiyo maana jana nilikuambia. Hata maombi. Ondoa. Venye diri nilituambia. Turaho ya adhiko. Fifte. Ondoa hiyo. Diraho ya dinya ajigwe mga abo agai. The goal of praying is a response of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So atari arari ya na pastor au yote ndiko hizo to unaongeza ine. Todo we ni ari irio no we duri mwari. Hallelujah. Amen. Wakati Yesu anabatizwa in Matthew 3 the Bible says and Jesus when he was baptized went up straight out of the water and lo the heavens were open unto him and he saw the spirit of god descending pastor alisema hiyo hallelujah lakini angalia and lo a voice from heaven so beside the beside the manifestation what ended kura hanagate ah ko turadhiginire muno ona drona ni gushoshora masuspu ni uria dinarugaga ku Beyond that, if we will have an impact in our generation, we have to go to the voice. Usitoke huku kama Mungu hajanenea hali yako. Ugai meni. Amen. Sema we are shifting. We are shifting. Sema we are moving. We are moving from abstract from abstract to a dynamic experience. To a dynamic experience. Hallelujah. Amen.
Hasa wakati tuliokoka na kwenye boto gofuta mam. Haleluya. Haleluya. Hey, boto gofuta. Deni wa dictionary ya ini. Shia kuoboka na kuri atogeka. Tukeri. Negua? Adreda gokuania. You know, worship allow me to come to that. Worship is a response to God who he is. Wanamuona aliye mtakatifu, wanamuinamia wakimuita mtakatifu. Praise is a response to God for what he has done or what he will do. Tuko pamoja. Age magaga ni agima. Ni toala nilie haya. Na ni mudu uratema. Are we are we are we responding to him? No ne meri mo ya goro. They, they have bitured. What? Yes. Sema Mungu atusaidie. Mungu atusaidie sana. Hallelujah. Amen. So tuondoke kwa hiyo asifu ya escaping. We are here to occupy and as I came the first day, allow me to pronounce again and again that this will be a cathedral. This house, he, itakuwa cathedral. Amen. Wakati niliingia tu hapa, that is what the Lord placed in my heart. Do not despise the humble beginnings. Yes. I, the Lord, lays the foundation. Yes. I, the Lord, lays the wall. Yes. There is a golden oil to make this an cathedral. Yes. So, why shall I come here? So, while we want to go to that level, yes. A cathedral, see your heart to an apruka na wanaenda. Nia do magui karaga. Magie na impact koko. Hallelujah. Amen. We talk, 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 how, 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 Jesus wa gosh, we talk, 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 we Henye boto wakofuta. Uga ye. Henye boto wakofuta. Najwa he mudhuri waku. Tire scripture. Nani mudu wate maga. Haka. Hake uwole ya uwo. Madeko. Nani we mutogo liya wa ibada. Haki uga. Na kwe ado alitu. Tamodhaga. Waroe. Nani madeko alada wana. Nani mudhuri wa waka. Nani reda kote mayani. Wacha tuondoe vitu kama sio yake. That's why we said we move from gift to giver. Yeah. Let our worship be purely him. Let everything that we do be unto him, looking unto Jesus, the host and the finish of our faith. I'm here to tell you we have to stop escaping. We are here to occupy. So, the reason we come to church if we are here to occupy it is to download heaven here on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to shift. Lazima tuhame. From dependency to autonomy. Lazima uwe mutu wakutegemewa. Hallelujah. Toko kio raka pasta na prayer list. Pasta da anywa kahoa na kwama. Na wedanywite. 
we, we have to shift from what? Dependency to autonomy. Lazima yes. ujiamini Mungu anaweza kukusikia na Mungu anaweza kukuona. Amen. Ugai meni. Amen. Wangapo wamebarikiwa hiyo. Najua bado sijaanza kuhubiri. Ninaweka msingi wa kwa nini lazima tunatoka wapi tukienda wapi. Nikiweza dauga shift utajua tunatoka wapi. Na ndio maana hayo mambo yote ninaweka. Nataka nikuletee the benefits of shifting, the benefit of moving. And then I will come to why are you not moving? Na hiyo ndio tutaomba. Sasa ambia mwenzako ndio tumeanza. Ndio tumeanza. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We have to move from entrance to finish. Erosio ge entrance, entrance to finish. Kuya do olia maigirira. No uwa matoi. Da honoka mwaka wa 1978. How February. <laughs> We also do that said here. Si wona jua. Eh? He dey imagine it. Sasa anaelezea anaelezea. Hakuji ndio tuliokoka lakini tunamaliza aje. Wacha nikwambie, kwanza sio hoja kwa Mungu kama jinsi umalizavyo. Ona kesha tu kuyulete ha, katika keyboard ye hutio, tonto uko hutia. Ona ni gear ni macho. Ligua terere. Kai jakwe nake. Hallelujah. Amen. Sema finish. Finish. Ulambia mwenzako. Sio vile tulianza. Sio vile tulianza. Ni vile tutakavyo maliza. Ni vile tutakavyo maliza. Utendaji kazi wa mungu. Ni katika kumaliza. Ata wakovu wako. Mandika nasema in Matthew 24. That those who endure to the end. Shall be saved. Ambia mwenzako finishing. Finishing. Watu huwa wanaanza. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama hii keyboard nimeona ni mzuri. Anashindwa kama wenye walianza kuicheza wako. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sema Mungu tusaidie. Mungu tusaidie. Amen. Sasa tulianza wengi kusema tunahama hapa. Ninataka tu kuuliza kama wenye tulisema tunahama kwa hii kanisa tulihama. Malipo yako katika kumalizia. Amen. Nataka kushiriki kidogo kwa nini watu wengi hawawezi kuhama. Kitu cha kwanza ni wrong company. Kushikana na watu maandiko anaita na, na, na hiyo nitashiriki. Hiyo hiyo nitaongea kidogo. Nataka David tusomee tafadhali Samueli wa pili ishirini Msari wa kwanza. Nataka usikilize haya maneno tafadhali. Haya maneno sasa ndio nimeanza kuhubiri. Nilikuwa na kuandaa tunahama tukienda wapi lakini sasa nataka unisikilize. Kwa nini unaweza kuwa na nafasi ya kuhama kufikia hadi yako na ukwame? Soma Samueli wa pili ishirini mstari wa kwanza basi ilitukia ya kwamba kulikuwapo mtu asiyefaa ngoja kidogo kulitokea it happened that there was a person in their midst mm. now huyo inamaanisha hakuwa anafaa kuwa hapo mm. but it happened he was there mm. unajua unaweza patwa katika kikundi ama mahali mtu mwenye hafai kuwa akuweko yes. na mwenye hafai kuwa akuweko aanze kukupea ushauri Hai 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 hai. Yes. E, e, tena. Uh, basi ilitukia kwamba kulikuwapo mtu asiyefaa. <laughs> Jina lake akaitwa Sheba, <laughs> mwana wa Bikri, <laughs> Mbejamini, <laughs> naye akapiga tarubeta akasema, <laughs> sisi hatuna sehemu ya Daudi. Asiyefaa mm. ameanza kuelekeza watu. Mm. Na ni huzuni kubwa kujipata katikati ya watu. Mm. Wakati mhubiri anasema hapana tufanye hivi wewe unaenda kutafuta najua wakati mm. wakati wa mimi kwenda kwa udhoni eh? niliona watu wenye wana kesi kesi yangu 
na huwezi ongea udho nini ndio hao kwa sababu kile kitu ya maana walikuwa naye ni mkwajo na tumbako alafu marashi irerera muhujia uri akuhikania na uri akuruta buri ni deyale tie he mudhe mudhe akegeria kwaria akero oko ni uri hotagari dogituitire gigwa ta taru ruhio ruadema allow me to share this experience being in the company of wealthless person yet yeye ndio ana direct your affairs i tried to remain there i tried to pray i was unable to retain myself there dokiriri oguo kiona murango ngirugamira gwako true <laughs> a worthless person was there unajua sasa hiyo anasema nini nie jedete ginya karoni garehe girishi ganona hau alafu yarauga oyo mwana athomete muno dagi umagoku na besa icio ona timuze ni mimi nimepata loan nimekuja kujikomboa na kujinasua na kuwapea heshima lakini wananirudisha hapo a worthless person anapiga turumbeta anasema sisi hatuna nafasi ndani ya Daudi ili hali Daudi ndio mpako wa mafuta na watu kadhaa wakamfuata the reason sometimes watu hawafiki baraka it is because of existence of a worthless person called Sheba the son of Bikri yes Sheba mwana wa Bikri akaondoa watu katika urithi wao baraka yao na ruda isi mundo no akwire na nitoinuke alafu giuma haha thai ikumi dragukora hari ukihurwa ni ruhuho na ukireyo ni rwage na hatire kundu guthiyaga acio meja ni mazoke haleluya amen isiwe umenenewa na sheba mwana wa bikri mm tiguko gutira ashika kiokwenda gushike ki alafu kwe pale ukipigwa pigwa na umbu na na baridi watu wengi wameondolewa katika baraka yao waligojea msichana umegojea umeamini Mungu umeomba Mungu hata amenena na amekwambia chenye atakupatia lakini itachukua sheba mwana wa bikiri akutoe kwa urithi wako kijana ulie hapa nisikie ni vizuri kujua ni nani anakushauri kama hajafika hafai hakuna mtu anaweza kukuingiza mahali hajawahi fika haleluya some of your washauri ya wamama na rageria kugufangira muthuri we dali te hakinya ha hathia gate na e hana akura thuri matire na mahana na ye hana anaitwa sheba mwana wa bikri ulikuja kesha ukitamani mungu sikiliza ni nani anakupea ushauri maana zaidi ya mtu pia kuna maroho yanaachilia ushauri yanakuambia na haiwezekani biblia nasema sheba the son of bikri Akap, yeye sio kiongozi maandika anamuita a worthless person akapiga firimbi akaambia watu sisi afadhali angesema mimi lakini alisema sisi hatuna sehemu ndani ya Daudi unaweza jitoaje kwa mwenye amebeba urithi na uongozi wenu ebu ebu niguze a scripture niliona and it shook me maana watu hata wachache wanaingiwa na roho wanaanza kuongea juu ya viongozi pasipo kuelewa In Proverbs 6:12 inaongea kuhusu a worthless person ni nani? Proverbs 6:12 inasema hivi, a worthless person, a wicked man is he who goes about with a perverse mouth. Burudia. 
uh, mtu asiyefaa kitu mm-hmm. mtu wa uovu mm-hmm. uenda jiani mwenyewe uenda jiani mwenye kinywa cha upotofu definition ya mtu ambaye anaweza kukutoa mahali Mungu alikuwa anataka kukuigiza ni yule mtu anaye kinywa cha upotovu yes na watu wengi kanisani hata mm. baada na ndio naona pasta anasweta hapa sande mandi ugasho kuharia because a worthless kuna a worthless statement iliingia ungeamini Mungu vivyo amesema ungekuwa umepokea lakini a worthless person a worthless demon has released a statement wewe hauwezi fanyika a worthless statement has released a statement kwa nyumogo toro sasa wewe umeishi kwa sababu kuna anaitwa nani sheba the son of bikri leo hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo yes. ninachukua mamlaka na uwezo yes. wewe hautafanyika ushauri wa sheba wewe utafanyika yes. chenye Mungu anasema amen sema ndio ndio sema ndio ndio sema ninafuta Ninafuta kila muandiko kila muandiko maanisha na kusema ninafuta ninafuta kila muandiko kila muandiko uliyoachiliwa uliyoachiliwa katika maisha yangu katika maisha yangu na sheba na sheba haleluya logozi kataba ya ndala bashia kuna mtu amekwambia ati wewe hautawahi fika mahali fulani mm. kwa sababu sehemu hii najua wakati nilienda Kilimambogo walikuwa wanasema kama hawezi wali mabiashara ya kilimambogo marutaga muhoti magatwalira murogi umesikia vile nimesema so kulikuanga na collection hiyo ma 06 wakasema oh kama hautaingia hapo hautafanyika na ingekuwa rahisi sana mtu wa Mungu kushikwa na ukae katika mtego wa kufanya venye kila mtu anakaa anafanya lakini nashukuru Mungu kuna watu waliamua hatutaamini ushauri wa a worthless person haijalishi hata kama ni nyanya yako alisema ah si maandika anasema hata baada ya Jacob kulaani Ruben Musa aliomba na akabadilisha usemi huo Leo hii nataka uamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kile Mungu amesema ndicho utakachofanyika. Na hakuna kitu kitazuia wewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunaondoa mwandiko wote. Maandiko nasema damu ya Yesu imefuta every handwriting of every ordinance. Yes. Sema ndio. Ndio. The reason why people do not go forward. There was a whisper. Sini Sara tu aliambia Abraham chukua haga leo hii Israeli yote inatabika Sini Eve tu aliambia unaweza kula na nitamu leo hii sisi tunaumia hii jasho ninatoa toa hapa singekuwa nikitoa jasho maana ogeigua giragai ukweli ukweli si tungekuanga Eden Idwo de neto ogiwe gai nyoka ogo tukamenya oka gotwera ate lakini sasa angalia no ginya tugishoka nirerio twihinge tuhoe na tuthaithe gai todwa muhuhu wa muthenyo omwe weliro tu mesie ni dogo na ogetekia waregire gwetha bible ino one hatire handu handikito Mesie ni dogo kuna mahali imeandikwa hivyo Najua mkikuyu na mambo yake mkikuyu alikuwa na issues na wamama serious Ate. serious which are not right Tishi ni goma shia kashia Bana bana Lu lu wewe mzee <laughs> kuna ndugu ndugu ameoa vizuri kanisani dada ameambiwa huyo ni bishop saizi mwenye ninaongea ndio mwenye alihubiri katika ndoa yangu mke wake acha ukaka mushi aliketie kuhujia mtumia wake akamwaliria huru ni todo mtumia ile tuatirire nigetha ukidireke ku 
Nogini ogesha moro oheige. Hewari <laughs> kakua terere. Tuma ibada. Na manama iyo ili ya ajera. Hata kwa klabu wawezi sema hivo. Hasa, pasta na shanga. What could be happen? So badai, ndi wakakuja kuambiwa. O, oh, alishauriwa. Nikitha okidere kere. Nogini ogesha moro oshiga. Na keo yo bisho kule. Nemu yuri ya niroho. Hiwa kari guwa mutumio niki kimuri ya. Hako nagi ya kamutu otari mwono. But later to understand. Ni Sheba. Son of Bikri. Ineza kuwa katika usemi wa culture yenu. Una ukambi wa kitu fulani. Ati o oh, ama katika hii elimu. Majua wame introduce mbaka LGDP. Ina ito waje? Hiyo. Inchi za inje ati mtoto mdogo anafunzwa sio yeye ni kijana ama yeye ni binti anafunzwa kujua chenye hisia zake zitamwambia yeye ni nani mtoto wa standard 6 amejiamulia mimi na ni kijana mimi ni msichana currently that is what is happening sasa swali langu ni hili Swali langu ni hili. Ushauri huo umetoka wapi? Purposes are established by council. Na the right council ni hii. Kuwa wewe ni wa mungu na kusudi la mungu litatimia katika maisha yako. Usikubali kingine kiandikwe katika mawazo yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ili kuambia leo unapata full dose. Sema full dose. Fuldos. Lazima tuhame kwa bikri na kama kuna bikri kwenu ndio mumuigate. Hallelujah. Maana ataishi kusababisha nyinyi kukosa urithi. Imagine mtu anasimama akauga na idhue tutire na hado theni wa Daudi. Yet yeye ndiye mfalme. A worthless person. Watu hukosa kupokea kile ama kuingia katika ahadi yao kwa sababu ya roho ya hofu ama uoga the ten spies had seen the might of god god wanted them just to believe waingie kanan lakini hawakuwa tayari mungu asifiwe ninajaribu kukimbia ili nikufikishe kwa benefits of migration i have listed them everyone who shifts shift with the presence wacha nikwambie hebu guza mwenzako mwambie neighbor neighbor ili uingie katika baraka ili uingie katika baraka tembea na uwepo tembea na uwepo kila ahadi ya Mungu imeunganishwa na mahali Mungu anaenda gaida ko hayaga kedo kana hado hali ya yatago koro so akematwara promised land akawapea the cloud and the pillar of fire so mradi wewe uko katika wingu na uko katika pila unaenda kwa ahadi yako the first blessing of migration is the presence ukikubali kushift mungu anaandamana na wewe na ukiwa na mungu hakuna kitu hauna ambia mwenzako presence presence number two Ukikubali kuhama sema kuhama unaingia katika urithi hakuna urithi ambao Mungu hupea mtu mwenye haja hama mahali ambapo hakuna urithi yes. sema amen amen number three, unapohama unatoka katika kifungo glory to god amen As, na hiyo ndio mambo yenye ninaenda kuombea leo kuna watu leo hii uwepo wa Mungu utaanza kuandamana na wao. Amen. Kuna watu leo hii wanaingia katika urithi wao. Amen. Kuna watu leo hii wanavunjiwa kila kifungo. Amen. Maana ameamua kuhama. Sema amen. amen. Wakati tunahama muondoko huu amen. wa kuhama ni kuingia yes. katika kukua. Yes. Kuna sehemu hata ukiishi miaka ngapi bora Na, na wacha ni kuambie 
utwalizi wa Mungu unategemea kipimo. Amen. Malika anasema grow in the grace of God. Yes. Malika anasema hebu soma Ephesians 4:15. The will of God ni tukue katika kimo na kipimo cha Kristo. Yes. Stature of the measure of Christ. Yes. Hebu soma. Lakini tuishike kweli katika upendo Mm-hmm. na kukua hata tumfikie yeye mm-hmm. katika yote mm-hmm. yeye aliye kichwa mm-hmm. Kristo tukue katika yeye kwa yote yes. wenye anahama anaingia into growth kama umekatalia hapo wewe mm-hmm. unaweka tumani yes hebe beto etaka tumani tena mm-hmm. ndio akuraga sasa utaonanga adoma aho no kaira ni mathie mabi ya kuhujia mio tuire na wiroria todo no wale gire ko hama tell your neighbor i must i must move move as we enter into this na nataka usikilie vizuri tunapohama tunaingia katika abundance now niangalie vizuri wakoma walikuwa wangapi waine Muji ulikuwa na chakula hapana mahali wamefukuzwa hakukuwa na kitu so wakaambiana tukikaa hapa tutakufia hapa tukirudi kule watatua ambia mwenzako enda mahali hujawahi enda enda mahali hujawahi inamaanisha omba maombi haujawahi omba mm. inamaanisha fanya chenye haujawahi fanya mm. move to the unknown ambia mwenzako umeishi hivyo woka kesha ukakomaa nudhu ukasoko kitu ganira the following day uliorale kesha no komile mm. nudhu hama mm. <laughs> <laughs> sema move to the unknown move to the unknown hebu simama kwa miguu yako kwa jirani ingi muno cia kuraga bea ya no meite no merata nerat no meikalire isafoket hizo njia zote inawezekana yes amen haleluya amen ti ukali ya ukaihura ngima pa alafu ukakesha umugikoma Listen. Yes. We are migrating. Mm. How many are ready? How many are ready? I've said number one, we are migrating into what? Into the presence. Number two, we are migrating into our inheritance. Yes. Number three, we are migrating into our freedom. They moved out of Egypt, the place of bondage. They moved out of Babylon, place of bondage. We are moving. Say amen. So inamaanisha hii kanisa hakutakuwa na mtu ako na kifungo. Inamaanisha hii kanisa hakuna mtu hatakuwa na urithi wake. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Inamaanisha katika hii kanisa watu wataingia katika kukua, katika kimo cha ukomavu. Yes. Say amen. Amen katika hii kanisa tunaingia katika utwalizi every movement mm. hallelujah amen brought in is bringing us into abundance so what are the requirements of our migration hallelujah amen requirement number one. hallelujah amen Ukiangalia watu wote walioingia watu wote walioingia walifuata kiongozi wao. Mm. Amen. Amen. And God has a set man in this house. Mm. Na lazima nikuambie ukweli. Aliye kiongozi wa hapa ndiyo atakuingiza katika urithi wako. Hebu tuone maandiko. Usingizi umeisha? Ha bado hasimama. 2 Corinthians, 2 Chronicles. Hallelujah, hii mkesha with a difference. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh endelea kusimama tu hivyo. 2 Chronicles 20 mm. verse 31 to 33. 
Nataka usikilize kwa makini. Ehe. Ah. Yoshafati <laughs> akatawala juu ya Yuda. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa na umri wa miaka 30 na mitano alipoanza kutawala. Mm-hmm. Akatawala miaka ishirini na mitano huko Yerusalemu mm-hmm. na jina la mamaye aliitwa Asuba binti Shilhi. Mm-hmm. Akaendea jia ya Asa babaye mm-hmm. wala akuiacha. Mm-hmm. Aka akafanya yale akafanya yaliyo mema mm-hmm. machoni pa Bwana msari wa 33 lakini sikiliza lakini mahali pa juu mm-hmm. apa kuondolewa mm-hmm. wala mioyo ya watu bado haija haiku ha, haikuachilia haijakazwa ha, kwa Mungu wa baba zao hebu sikiliza the leader can move alone mm. muonange ni yeye peke yake anainuliwa Mwanange ni yeye peke yake anabarikiwa. Kwa sababu hata kama unajua wakati Mungu amesema ni wakati wetu wa muondoko. Mm. Wewe unaweza sema kwa sababu imesemekana basi ni hivyo. So the leader Jehoshaphat akaanza kufanya yale yatakayo muingiza katika urithi. Lakini watu wakabakia kwa mambo yao ya kawaida. Ni mambo ambayo yanafanyika. Ukienda kwa kanisa unaona kuna gap kubwa. Haleluya. Amen. Such that pastor akikosa wiki tatu kama ka mutura ga mumu haga guko ni tondo dagithie murimo mena mutumi dagakora andu. Ero shioge ni wiorero. Kuhama ni kuhama sisi wote. Haleluya. Sijui kama unapata. Mpendo unanipata. Kama tunahama usibakie kwa ile. Na ndio maana jana mtumishi akasema na tutaanza haya maneno. Na ndio I'm taking time kufunza. Maana hatutaki tunakutana tunarudi to the same things. Hapana. Haleluya. Na mimi nimekuambia nimehubiria watu wengi na wachache. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo mimi mi siwezi kuwa discouraged at the major no me deni ne joy ona kumana na hauja he mundu ke dadhi ma ke wa ke guthuka na goko siri ni wabia testimony yangu ya kwanza haleluya so ina maanisha nataka usikilize vizuri lazima kila mtu kama ni sisi wote tunaenda tunaenda ero shio girati go ke kate yes to go kate na bago kufanya nini haleluya amen manase second chronicles 33 These are deep truths that you have to agree. Yes. Usikubali leader wenu ako kule. Na wewe haujashikamana na muondoko ambao Bwana anafanya. Mm. Usikubali that is not the will of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Chronicles 33 from 15 to 18. Haraka haraka tu. Mm. Mm. So uh, tu mstari wa 15 alafu uende wa 17. Ah. Uh, akaiondoa miungu migeni mm-hmm. na hiyo sanamu nyumbani mwa Bwana. Huyo ni Manase eh? Na madhabahu zote alizozijenga katika mlima wa nyumba ya Bwana mm-hmm. na Yerusalemu akazitupa nchi ya mji. Mhm. wa 17. Uh, lakini watu lakini waka... watu wakaendelea hen, kutoa dhabihu. Hena dhina. Mm. Na mimi nataka hiyo shida leo tuinene. Mm. Uambie Bwana katika muondoko huu mimi sibaki upande ule mwingine. Mm. Kule ya Gai urato warado. Mm. Agikoro ni kirathi moine. Mm. Agikoro ni gai nere yao. Yes. Agikoro ni hale yole. Yes. Agikoro ni ke dugio the kere ugete. Mm. Hau neho ni dirathi. Mm. Ukate kauli haubaki. Watu wengi wanapita ukaigua okay, kama ndoga. Twahujagia na Reverend Johnson. Mm. Na ole weko. Oh, oh. Bas, in fact ni zito igireire toitire muthago ucio na mafati macio ria matoikari. Lakini uko wapi? Wa akitaja tu mwaka unashtuka. Lakini alipitwa wapi? Wakati kiongozi alikuwa anaenda tafuta mahali utashika. Yes. Tafuta nyayo zake ufuate. Tafuta mahali anaenda maana muondoko huu ni wa wenye wanaenda wote. Hebu 
Maandiko yanasema hivi wakati wana wa Israeli walibatizwa na ubatizo mmoja wa Musa. Ready see. Hakuna mmoja wao utilio na umwe wao walile. Maandiko yanasema hakuna mmoja wao kiatu yao ililaruka. Hakuna nguo yao ililaruka. Yes. Maandiko yanasema and all of them. Mm. Yaani Mungu aliwaondoa sio kwa sababu ya magonjwa. Sabu kwa sababu alitaka wote waingie kwa hivyo there was a constant thing hebu angalia jeshi ya Daudi wanakuja kwake second samuel ni first samuel 3 wanakuja kwake second samuel ni first samuel 22 wanasema walipokuja kwake Adulam walikuwa watu waliokuwa na madeni waliokuwa na mastress waliokuwa na hali ngumu za kimaisha lakini kutana na wao in second chronicles 18 at hebron how do you the mighty man of david yes. the same people wakati waliamua kuandamana na david ukisoma second samuel 3 inasema kama vile nyumba ya sauli iliendelea kuisha ndivyo nyumba ya daudi iliendelea kupa na wakati mumeamua kuondoka nyinyi wote hakuna mmoja wenu atakuwa mdhaifu nasema hakuna mmoja wenu atakuwa mdhaifu hakuna mmoja wenu atakuwa mdhaifu kama unanisikia na unaamini neno la Bwana usikubali kuondoka huu hakuna mmoja wenu atakuwa mdhaifu hakuna mmoja wenu atakuwa na unyonge yes haleluya All through the Bible angalia wale Yesu aliwaita ignorant man mtu ajaenda darasa tax collector mtu wa kunyang'anya watu lakini angalia Yesu akiwaacha 12 people they turned the whole world upside down watu isipokuwa mmoja mwenye alikuwa ameandikiwa for the son of perdition huyo peke yake the rest they were mighty men niko hapa kutabiria mtu hakuna mtu ambaye atasalia vile alivyokuwa katika muondoko huu nataka unisikilize ndugu haijalishi wewe umekuja lakini mwisho wetu tunauona kwa sababu Mungu ametupatia macho ya kuona that none of us shall be weak none of us shall be sick none of us shall lack Mungu anasema katika kanisa la kwanza walipokutana katika umoja huo the Bible says they were daily under doctrine yes. they were daily under breaking bread yes. they were daily under prayer and yes. fellowship and great grace was yes. poured upon them Mungu anasema and great signs were seen they became mighty the word of God prevailed and I'm here to prophesy over your life it doesn't matter how you came we are transitioning yes. all of us Hallelujah. Yes. Ambia mwenzako tunahama. Ah. Tunahama katika upeke. Tunahama katika ukosefu. Tunahama katika meli ya magonjwa. Yes. Tunahama katika ukosefu. Kwa sababu aliyetuita. Tunahama sisi wote. Hallelujah. Yes. Tell your neighbor I must I must migrate. Ah, mimi sibaki. Yes. Mimi sibaki. Yes. Mimi sibaki. Yes. Ninaondoa chochote. Yes. I remove insensitivity. Yes. In the spirit. Watu yes. ambao hawasikii Mungu. Ninaondoa chochote ambacho kinazima masikio. Yes. Leo hii sikia sauti ya Bwana. Yes. Kama mahali ulipo. Yes. Kama hicho kifungo. Yes. Kama kwa hiyo hali. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Robozoka tayande. Watu hukosa kuhama. Kwa sababu kuna vitu ambavyo huwa zinapresentiwa mbele yao as though it is a promised land. Mungu anaambia Joshua, go over to Jordan. That is a place I have placed hapo ndipo nimewawekea where your feet shall tread yes. you shall possess two and a half tribes wakaona mahali kuna nyasi wa 
akasema sisi sio lazima tuvuke and they convince Joshua na Joshua kawapea years later when you read mark 5 the very location waliochagua ndio tunapata pamefanyika makaburi ndio tunapata pamefanyika sehemu ya mapepo na ndio tunapata nguruwe wa kikula the gadarenes what happened it is the same spirit that was with the lot he moved in faith following abraham out of their motherland so how god raised and fought for them but along the way akapata nyasi akapata ngombe akapata mifugo abraham anamwambia chagua he saw grace he saw grass and missed grace there are people leo hii wangekuwa mbali and those are the people i'm talking about today unajua mahali ungekuwa lakini ulipokuwa unatoka oh ukabarikiwa na kazi ikafanyika Mungu wako oh ukapata mtoto sasa hawezi enda mkesha yenye ulimilia huyo mtoto Mungu akubariki oh ukainuliwa kidogo ukaitwa mkubwa sasa hata chachi unataka tukuite mkubwa we saw uliona nyasi lost aliona wacha muone hasara iliyopatikana aliyeona nyasi akakaribia sodom baadaye angalia maisha yake umri wake wote uliisha na sodom sio hivyo tu mke wake akakufa sio hivyo tu baadaye ananajisiwa na binti wake mtu ambaye alifuata neema lakini akafika mahali akaanza kufuata wacha nikuambie haijalishi anaitwa nani siku hizo anaitwa babas haijalishi anaitwa nani hana uwezo wa kukuhifadhi hana uwezo wa kukutwalia hana uwezo wa kukusaidia aliye na haki na uwezo wote wa kukusaidia ni Mungu ambaye anakuita usikubali kuona nyasi usikubali kuona nafasi ambayo Mungu amekupatia ukose kuona kile kikubwa yes leo hii Oh, hiyo miaka nimehubiri nimeona watu walioona nyasi na leo hii wanalia ukweli na kuambia ukweli kuna ndugu fulani sitamtaja wasichwe alikuzaguza vitu eh? siku hizi wa ndugu wakikuzaguza vitu wanaoa tena <laughs> kipata gari sasa hataweza paka kwa chachi na park zikarud Hakuenda sana Wakati mvuli umeondoka ah, He who breaks the hedge mm. serpent will bite Yes Anayevunja ha, haijalishi yako wapi mm. Haijalishi anakula na nani mm. Anayevunja So baada ya siku chache alikuja akaniambia mimi pastor niko flat nikamwambia nashukuru umesema lakini kuko na nafasi alikuwa chini kabisa nikarudi mfuko wangu nilikuwa na kitu kidogo nikampea pesa za kuanza kazi akarejea Mungu akamrejesha lakini alikuwa flat from 10000 umejenga nyumba ya milioni mbili Nilimpea tu 1000 lakini amejenga nyumba ya ngapi? Milioni mbili. Lakini hiyo neema sasa shida ni unajua ile Matthew 25 nasema some he gave five another he gave two another sio talents tu ni opportunities. Sio vipawa tu Niyo. Sasa unaweza sema agekorosho hairo kanya munage shokereria leo nani ile? Wacha nikuambie when it comes to opportunities no one knows except God. That's why I don't take chances. Unaweza kiti kidogo. Kiti sasa kidogo. 
Hallelujah. I don't take chances with opportunities. No na venye naubiri hapa. Hakuwe hujie maguro maiguro. Maana sijui ni mtihani gani Mungu ananitumia. Nimekuja na notes zangu zote. <laughs> Serious. Ikira ukira no ha ho muhuga. Pana. Ona fikiria na ubiri tu hivi. Pana. Sababu sijui, sijui ni nafasi gani Mungu ananipea. Ni nini Mungu anapima? Jukete na kuitigia. Kila kitu yote neema, mpako kila kitu yote iko hapa. Na mpaka mke wangu anajua. Nimekuja. Kwa sababu sijui ni nafasi ngapi nimepewa. Na wapendo hiyo ndiye yenye inatusumbua tunaona sasa ukahudhia tunaona hii nafasi eh o kugura kile atudhige haha tutige kurerwa sasa ni nafasi haleluya sema nafasi usiruhusu nafasi yako ikupe kwa sababu ya kuona nyasi kakosa kuona neema haleluya tiko yugidia dai yugidia nilikuwa na ule kijana mwenye anaoshanga gari wa church akaniambia na unajua tunahama na nikajua pasta hajui hata niko na karoli kanaweza muhamisha sikugojea kuambiwa ni ni dere hile nikiona akihujia na nikio dena mamlaka haha todo kweke dodato mirebe kuna kitu nilituma mbele kama unanipata so siko peke yangu wale malaika waliona nikiaminika siku anajiandalia Mungu aliyeona ninaaminika sasa lazima anipaka hapa ukwe wewe umepewa nafasi nyingi za kufanya mambo mengi. Umekwama mapale kwa nyasi. Umekwama mapale kwa anko. Umekwama mapale kwa muheshi. Hama. Mwambie mwezako hama. Neema ambao Mungu amekuandalia ni kubwa. Hama. 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 Haleluya. Amen. Hama. Yes. Shift. Hallelujah. Amen. Ambia mwenzako my great. My grace. Umekaa sana hapo. Umekaa sana hapo. I want to also share about another man called Jehoiada. Yes. Who helped people to shift. Nilikwambia mm. leo gogofudithia gefauru afu didirie mudu akegwa agiyukira akebohoera agithie na mbere ku matiambirie kuga taruta wira eliro ikara haha ona ni ugwikwithetie thikiririwa uthie na mbere haria hari ugutigeire madigara kwa sababu alitoa ushuda ona agweta go tondu nigetha to identify no akwite deliro taruta kawira asha eliro to ni ugwikwithetie shoka hau na Paul akaendelea ru ugukoma ukire utukore tuthie na mbere. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Na tiweza kunywa goshuru oka chikirea. Hallelujah. Glory to. We unachukua hii kanda. Mwadhani utaedit. Eh? Utaedit, edit kidogo. Hallelujah. Nguo geto hado hagi. Hallelujah. Si utahakikisha umeedit eh? Eh, tutaedit na wewe. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Second Chronicles 23. Wakati najua hego matoa hota na revival eno. Uga imeni? Amen. By the way the word of God prevails. Unaona wakati nania naenda Ephesus, Paul anaanza kuhubiri alihubiri ujumbe tu ya kwanza hekaruni makemoi kiaja ni goma kule hedhina edhi shukuru agedhie shukuru 
ya Tyrenus the school of Tyrenus akiambia kuhujia kirathi ni Madiko maugaga ahujirie kiugo kia gai gege prevail the goddess Diana fell by preaching. The, the, the word I'm declaring has the authority in the atmosphere to deal with every principality. Hallelujah. Sasa skiliza. Jehoya da ni amejipata katika ukuhani. Wakati uh, Jezebel alikufa hawakuua binti yake na ndio nimesema kuna mapepo husalia hata wakati Goliath aliwawa hawakumalizana na ma brother wa Goliath kuna mwenye anaitangwa Eshbinob ambaye aligojea Daudi achoke na ndio maana unahitaji watu wakati Daudi anachoka unatokea one of his Mighty man anashughulikia kama hangekuwa na mtu atetodonio la gire goliathi tarafa taramodo angevinywa huyu aligojea wakati amechoka sasa Adalia ako na shida na uongozi wa Israeli Adalia ni binti ya Jezebel akaanza kuwa wana wote wa ufalme kukawa na Jehoha yada ambaye alikuwa priest akaona hapana si taruhusu Joash awawe maana akiwawa mbegu ya Mungu imeisha ninataka kuongea kuhusu uwezo wa kuficha paka wakati wake hata kama unahama kuna mambo utahitaji sio ya kila mtu na kila wakati ni yako ya kuficha kuandamana nayo maana ndoto yako iko na wakati wake urithi wako uko na wakati wake sijui kama unanipata mpendo are you getting what i'm saying maandiko anasema akachukua kijana akiwa mdogo akamficha kwenye hekalu kwa miaka sita hema odoturahi da goro inishito ero shio gehema odoturahi da kuna mambo tunayaficha tunajua ni yetu hatusemi lakini tunayaficha tukialea tunayaficha tukialisha tunayaficha tukiandaa maana maono ni ya wakati sema amen haleluya ambia mwenzako lazima uelewe kuficha ambacho ni chako kulea kilicho chako paka wakati ulio wako amen amen why ni the amere tigari woko dokoneka ni text you to maga ni director wa hana na ni pastor era ati todo ni line dia muno eh ki bodi di kahura sade ni jiteto to ina crusade ko mararan wewe utafinjwa jehoya da grace preserves and hide for an appointed time even as we shift we know not everything is for now ah. let me preach to you allow me to prophesy to you there is a version in you we have not yet seen nona venye nokia wanatoanga na samsung wanatoanga version mpya kila mwaka imagine wewe kuna version yako bado hatujaona lakini lajua uwe na siri ya kuilea na kuilinda kwa wakati wake. Hata Yesu akiwa Mungu alifichwa kwanza. As we migrate that's why we come for Keshas. We have quality time to let things grow in our lives and in our spirit because at time aujaona sijahubiri imekuanga warm up Atiroga leto hujetie. Bado. John, bado. Imekuanga hii hi, imekuanga matizi. Reverend, bado. Bado. Utakini uradia. Bado. Kabla tuchukuange hapa Runinga na tumeita pure gospel. Wacha hizo zingine za safari kwa zinapitana mishale hii. Kadhate bopa tena muujiza. Wewe yako inaenda global na unasema nimewabariki. Hey, 
Mimi ninaamini na moyo wangu wote. Itafika wakati tutabariki pasipo kuitisha chochote. Mimi ninaamini na moyo wangu wote. Mimi ninaamini hivyo. A time is coming. Tutakuwa tukiuliza ni muradi gani tutasaidia county council ya Kiabu. Mimi ninaamini hivyo na moyo wangu wote. Tutakuwa tukitafuta ni barabara gani tutainulia hawa watu tutawalevo kama kanisa. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo sasa hivi ni time ya kuficha na kulea chenye Mungu anafanya ndani yako. Ili wakati kita mimi nakwambia ukweli wakati tutaanza kuonekana unajua nilikuwa kwa runinga Mungu akaniambia it's not time. Yes I was there. Yes. Anambia it's not time. Kwanza jenga. Hallelujah. Na ni vizuri kuti na sasa nikajenga. Sasa ninagojea. Nasema hata sio sasa. Nataka nikupee vyombo vya kufanya hiyo kazi. Wachana na station za wenyewe. Naamini. Ninaamini. Na nimesema hivyo kanisani. Nitahubiri nchi yote, dunia yote kutoka pale hiyo altar. Ninaamini so ninagojea ninagojea pole pole lakini hiyo sio ya kusema ni ya kuficha na kuiombea paka wakati wake sisi ni jeho ayada tulio na neema ya kujua chenye Mungu anafanya na kukificha na kukilea paka wakati wake na ndio maana tutaendelea na mikesha Oh yes. Maana yes. kuna kitu tuna feed. Mm. Kuna kitu kinakuwa. Mm. Wakati kitachipuka. Yes. Nasema hawa watu wametoka hawajui. Mm. So mwaka wa saba ana announce. Naleta viongozi wote. Alafu anafungulia kijana. Sasa sisi huwa tunasoma eh, na Josh akaanza kutawala kama mfalme akiwa na miaka saba. Lakini hatujui ni nani alimfikisha hapo ni neema ambia mwenzako kuna neema kuna neema leo hii mm. ukiitwa mkesha mwingine kuja saa mbili usikule chochote sema ni maagizo ninapewa kama ni ugali nazuia wewe kuelewa maana tunakuja kufunzwa kuelewa ku profit kutoka kwa Mungu ili tuweze kuandamana na usimizi chochote guza mwenzako lazima tutafanyika Mwambie hama. Hama. Mwamba, mwambie elewa. Elewa. Ijua mahali ambapo umeitiwa. Ijua mahali ambapo umeitiwa. Sema ficha. Ficha. Lea. Lea. Na uinue. Na uinue. Kile ambacho Bwana. Kile ambacho Bwana amekupatia. Final amekupatia. Psalms 110 verse 3. Zaburi 110. Simama kwa miguu yako. Yes. Uh, watu wako watu wako wanajitoa kwa hiari uh-huh. siku ya uwezo wako uh-huh. kwa uzuri wa utakatifu uh-huh. tokea tumbo la asubuhi uh-huh. una umande wa ujana wako rudia tena watu wa nani watu wako uh-huh. wanajitoa kwa hiari ngoja kidogo simamia hapo sio kusukumwa muondoko huu ni kwa wale watakao jitoa kwa hiari. Yes. In your day your people will volunteer. Kama unataka baraka hii msimu. Oh, usiwe wa kuambiwa fanya. Yes. Wacha ipatikanange unauliza hapa tutaweka aje hizi vitu. Hapa tutapanga aje. Unataka watu wakule nini? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Nasema utukufu kwa Bwana. Amen. Mwinulie Bwana mikono yako miwili. Sinipite mokozi. Nisikie Bwana. Yes. 